Hi, welcome to The Gamesplainer. I'm Jeff The Gamesplainer and today I'm gamesplaining Colors of Paris. Colors of Paris is a game that came out last year from Super Meeple Games. It's quite an interesting little game. The idea of the game is you need to transition colors into other colors, so by mixing and then using those mixes of colors you need to complete pieces of artwork. The whole idea of it is action selection. So you're starting with three meeples that you're putting up onto this round circle. And there are a couple of those spots that are blocked out depending on the number of players that you have. And some of the spots are laid to put two or possibly even three others only one. There's then a central area that allows you to put a guys up there to do some other stuff. But one of the major ones is you can copy the action of one of the other guys. But once you use a guy, you light down. Anything that's up in this spot that's copying can only copy guys who are standing. So if you think that I'm first player, oh, that guy wants to copy my action, I probably want to do that action first. So he can't copy that action. There's an interesting little interplay on that. My issue with the game is that it finishes once someone has finished their second painting. I feel like that's a little bit too early for the game to finish because it's you kind of just get to the point where you're, okay I'm kind of getting there and suddenly the game's finished. There's a lot to be said for that but I don't know if there's enough depth in this game for that to happen with this game. On the table it feels a lot lighter than that type of rule suggests and it's and I don't know what would happen if we took it to three um three pieces of art finished but it feels like that might be the more appropriate spot to go to. The other thing you can do is you could collect in uh, black, which is um, a combination of all three of the mixed colors. And once all five blacks are gone, the game has finished. And that's fine. I haven't got to the point where that has caused the end of the game yet, even though I was going after it last time I played the game. There's enough with this game to make it a little bit intricate and a little bit kind of, oh yeah, I get what's going on. And, and that's really cool. I fear it's a little bit light on the table, for what it is, so it's going to be in that lighter kind of area of, of playing. Maybe not a massive all-in game, but kind of a, a warm-up game. That, that's my instinct on. Um, however, as a game that just sits on the table and you play while you're watching something or while you're doing something else, fabulous. I really enjoyed that area of the game. I don't think this is a top 10 material for the year, but I really enjoyed playing Colors of Paris and I look forward to trying to get it back out again. There are a couple of other elements. So there's like a white cube, which can stand in for any different colored cube on your piece of art, but it's gonna take two points off your piece of art. Or you can use those white cubes to do other things. Uh, you have a little track that you're trying to manipulate your way up, and when you get to halfway along that track, you get to get an extra meeple, so there's extra worker placement ideas or you're able to get six points. And there's a real push-pull on which way to go on that. There's enough thinkiness on it to, to want to be a heavy game that it is. But in the end, it's relatively light. Look, I'll leave it there. Go ahead and watch my games playing games explanation and get a feel for how the game actually plays and see if you would like it or not. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you would like to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email to thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Gamesplainer to keep up to date with the games I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.